Hi guys, this is an introductory video to coastal environments and in this video we will be understanding coasts as natural systems and learning about the different coastal zones. Like other processes in geography such as the carbon cycle and the water cycle, coasts also act as natural systems and therefore we can study them using a systems approach. There is a separate video covering the major details of systems and their processes um, but just to recap, systems tend to have inputs, outputs, stores and flows and I'm going to talk about them in relation to coastal systems but if you want more information on exactly how systems work in general then there is an entire video on that. Coastal systems are also open systems and if you remember from my first video, open systems are systems where matter and energy can be transferred in and out of the system. So, for example, within um, a coastal system, matter would be things like sand and sediment and energy is things like waves and wind. And this leads us on to the inputs in coastal systems, which are things like energy. So we have wind energy, wave energy, tides and sea currents, to give you a few examples of inputs. Then for our components or our stores, these are things like our landforms, landforms of erosion and landforms of deposition. And... We also have flows and our flows will be things like wind or water transport. So this is when the wind or water is transporting our sediment um, and creating landforms. Um, but also we have flows such as erosional or depositional processes. And it's these processes that work to create our landforms um, which we will look at in later videos, but landforms of erosion are those which are being kind of removed or degraded and landforms of de deposition is where this material or our sand or our sediment is being deposited. And then finally, the output, outputs that we might find in a coastal system would be the accumulation of sediment um, or either things like the dissipation of wave energy. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.